hello, in this problem I've got a table and it represents a monopoly's production costs and we need to figure out profit maximizing price and quantity for a single price monopolist. Okay, so what that means is I need to know uh, where does our marginal revenue equal our marginal cost, so our additional revenue, or really to think about it as the last product I can sell where I'm still making a profit. Okay, in this case it's just quantity one through six, uh, so the last one where, um, where I'm still earning a profit because if the marginal costs are higher then I'm decreasing my total profit. Okay, uh, and a single price monopolist just means I'm going to pick a single price. I mean that's obvious, but uh, you know I can I can only charge one price to the whole market. Okay, uh, and then I want to figure out what the profits are, and then if this represents a competitive industry, what would market price and quantity entail? Okay, so just to go over this, this is quantity. This is actually write this right here for you. Quantity, price, total revenue, uh, marginal revenue. Uh, this is marginal cost. This is, oops, this is fixed cost. And this is total cost. Okay. So total revenue is price times quantity. So we'll just write a formula here. We're going to go equals this times this. Uh, and I get zero. I'm not sure why that's giving me weird colors. I'm going to change that. Let's change it back to black. Okay, and then I can just copy the formula by just grabbing this plus sign right here. And I'll just copy that whole thing down. And here I can see I make the most total revenue at a uh, price of 21, sell five units. Okay. The reason this is changing is, is in order to sell more units, I have to lower the price, which then changes my total revenue. Okay. Uh, now, marginal revenue is the is the rate of change. It's the difference there. So I don't I don't have a marginal revenue when I'm at zero. And so what it is uh, is it's the difference in total revenue divided by the difference in quantity. Now, in this particular problem, it's always going to be one because we're one, two, three, four. So we're just dividing by z by one. This is no big deal. So I'm just going to say to make it a little simpler for this particular one uh, is E5 minus E4. So it's the current total revenue minus the previous total revenue. Okay. And I'm just going to copy that all the way down. Okay. And eventually I get negative, and that makes sense because I'm making less total revenue if I sell six units at $15 than five units at $21. Okay. Uh, now I got marginal costs. Oh, actually, now I can solve this first part here. Uh, profit maximizing price and quantity. So where do they equal? So it's marginal revenue is higher, marginal revenue is higher, marginal revenue is higher. Here they equal. So they equal at four. So I want to sell four units. Okay, so this happens at four. Q equals four. And then the price. Okay, so I'm gonna not gonna sell at price of ten. That'd be a competitive price. I'm going to sell at 25. Okay. Now, uh, what are the profits equal? Okay, so I'm going to do the, these two columns here. Fixed cost is 10. That means it doesn't change. So I'm just going to copy 10 all the way down. Okay, some kind of piece of equipment that was 10, and we can't change that price. Uh, over here, total cost. I've got um, what I've got to do. So I've got to add the marginal cost, so the marginal to the fixed cost. Does the marginal cost the additional cost? So if there were no marginal cost, then it's just it's just going to be ten. Okay. So now it's going to be ten, and then we're adding five dollars in, in total cost there. So it's going to be fifteen. Okay. Now the next one, I'm adding seven to what I already had. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, the formula I'm gonna do is this plus 
this because this is the these are the additional costs that come from the variable costs. Okay, now I'm just going to copy that one all the way down. That gives us our total cost. So if I wanted the variable costs, then what I could do is just take this minus the fixed cost. Okay, and then just copy that one all the way down. That gives you the variable cost, and you can check that by. Uh, if you just add 10, which is the fixed cost to this, you should get the, the total cost. Okay, well, what are their profits equal? Well, we just look at the total revenue here. We already calculated that 105. Oh, no, 100 rather. Sorry, we're going to produce four units. 100 minus 41, and so that's 59. So I'm going to make a profit of 59, in this case, dollars, I suppose. Uh, if the, this represented a, a competitive industry, what would the market price and quantity B. So in this case, we're going to look at price, which is the demand, and then marginal cost, which is the uh, more like think about the supply curve. Okay. So in that case, it would be um, it would be six units. Okay. And we only get to play this game when we're a monopoly. Okay. So uh, the quantity would be six, and the price would be fifteen. And we get a demand equals marginal cost. Sometimes that's called allocative efficiency.